Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about indirect method examples. In our last class, we clearly discussed about the examples related to the inference formulas. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, suppose sometimes they are going to ask you to show the derivations based on the indirect method. One of the examples show that R follows from the set of premises. They have provided some set of premises. From these premises, we need to show that R follows from the set of premises. These type of examples we have done in our previous classes. But we need to show it using indirect method. If you understand what indirect method means, uh, remaining so solution is very very easy which we have done multiple examples previously. So let's try to understand indirect method means uh, these type of questions we need to derive R from the given premises. Indirect method means we are assuming. Uh, so hope you know the basics. What's this premises means? What's the meaning of this? So if this premises they have provided some propositions. If these propositions are true then we can say that R is true. That is what we are showing in our previous classes. So now indirect method, we, we need to understand indirect method. In indirect method, we assume that R is false. So we are assuming R is false. Then add negation R to the premises. If you assume R is false means negation R means true value. Yes, we can add this to our premises. So once if you if you once you add this negation R to the premises, not only negation R, whatever if you, if you are in place of R, if you are having a composite proposition, make it make it we assume that our composition proposition composite proposition is false and negate it negation of our composite proposition add it to our premises that is what we need to do so see what what we have done here these are the set of premises for this set of premises we are adding negation r in our assumption negation r is true so now if you show that these propositions from these propositions if you show false from these propositions then our assumption r is false is going to be wrong so r is going to be true this is what indirect method is understand it properly our assumption we assumed that r is false we make negation r means true this is added to our premises from this premises if you show false means our assumption r is false is wrong This is indirect method. This is indirect method. So uh, we'll do this example so that you will understand. Hence, R is true from the given premises. So these are the set of premises. For this premise, from these premises, we need to show that we need to derive R from the set of premises. Indirect method. What we have to do? What we are going to do? Our assumption R is false. Negation R means true. Add this to our premises. So the set of premises which we got are using indirect method is these are the set of premises from these premises we need to show that false we need to show false from these premises let's try to do this example so these examples we are explaining the example very fast because our assumption is you already have the basic understanding how we are going to solve these examples so from the given premises not given premises from this set of premises we know that negation r Q implies R can be written as negation Q from I12, inference formula 12. P implies Q, negation Q, tautologically imply negation P. This is this looks same as negation R, Q implies R can be written as negation P, negation Q. So from this premises, we derived one more premise, which is negation Q. We are going to use this, all these premises. Negation Q, P implies Q, P implies Q. This is same as I12, same can be written as negation P. So from this set of premises, we derived one more premise, negation P. Using this negation P and in the set of premises, we are having P conjunction R. P 
P disjunction R. So negation P P disjunction R. P disjunction R can be written as negation P implies R. So negation P negation P implies R can be written as R from I11 inference formula 11. P P implies Q can be written as Q. Negation P negation P implies R can be written as R. So from the set of premises we have derived one more premise which is R. So in the set of premises we are having R and in the set of premises we are having a negation R. In between two premises we can place conjunction. Why we can place conjunction in between two premises? These are the two premises which we got. In between these two premises, we can place conjunction. Why we can place conjunction? This point we discussed previously. Again, we are not explaining here. R conjunction negation R is always false. So we showed false from the premises. So our assumption R is false is wrong. This is how we need to show using indirect method of proof. Hope you understand what indirect method means. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.